Saints of God, let me just tell you something. I do want to offer you just a little insight on what to do when you are in the nowness of getting to your promise. And see, you have to read verse 1 and you have to read it with a spiritual eye. When the whole nation had finished crossing the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, let me read it again. When the whole nation had finished crossing the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, it was not until the whole nation had finished, somebody say finished, they finished crossing the Jordan, only then did the Lord speak again to Joshua. But in order for the Lord to speak again to Joshua, y'all hear me now, the whole nation had to finish, say finish again. They had to finish crossing the Jordan. And saints of God, the primary instruction for the now of your journey to your promise, and write this down in your sermon handout, you must finish because there is no other option. In fact, I need you to encourage somebody to tell them you must finish. There is no other option. Oh no, y'all said that real pitiful. Y'all gonna talk to the TV louder than that. No, I need for you to tell them like you mean it. Tell them you must finish. There is no other option. Let me tell you, because I can just tell the truth on myself and I know if I can tell the truth on myself, some of y'all ought to tell the truth. One of the reasons why I have not gotten to some of the promises in my life is because I quit too early. Is there anybody else who can bear witness that it started looking rough, it started looking shaky, the, it got hot on me, sometimes the enemy was coming from also, and so instead of tunneling through, I quit too early. But let me tell you something. How is it that you finish? First thing is, write this down. You have to keep renewing your mind. Uh-huh. You have to keep renewing your mind. You have to keep renewing your mind. You have to keep renewing your mind. You have to see yourself crossing the finish line even before you cross the finish line. You have to see yourself in the land of promise even before you get to the land of promise. You have to see yourself when everybody else is telling you you're stupid. You have to see yourself even when everybody else is telling you you're crazy. You gotta see yourself when folks are telling you you're dumb. You gotta see yourself when the money runs out. You gotta see yourself when folks have said, how many folks know that? You gotta see yourself there even if there's nobody else who's willing to see you. There. See your own self there and be satisfied in the fact that God is there with you. But then also, as you keep renewing your mind, the other thing you got to do, you got to keep speaking it. Because uh, if you can get it in your mind, it will permeate your whole spirit and then it will come out of your mouth. What needs to come out of all of our mouth? Quitting is not an option. Quitting is not an option. Young people, I'm talking to y'all too. Quitting is not an option. Y'all say it with me if you believe it. Quitting is not an option. Say it one more time. Quitting is not an option. Put your hand on somebody's back and just tell them, quitting is not an option. Because if you keep telling yourself that, when things begin to happen that will suggest something different, you'll be able to speak to it and say, I don't care what you come with, quitting is still not an option. But then also...